Good morning, students. This morning, I'm only speaking to the grade eights and the primary school because the rest of the high school are at home. So today I'm going to be slightly different. Today I want to tell you about the chameleon Christian. Students, most of you know what a chameleon is. And I want to tell you about the chameleon Christian today. The Christian who seems to change color depending on the situation. When a chameleon climbs onto a tree or onto a bush or onto something, they actually turn the same color or close to the color of what they're climbing onto <clears throat> so they can camouflage themselves. It does this because it doesn't want to be seen. It tries to hide and it tries to protect itself by getting becoming the same color as the thing it's on. Now, you know what? That is what some of us do. When God has called us to be different, we see people who try to still fit into the world. They try and be camouflaged with the world. They try and become like the other people around them. They start behaving in ways that is no different to the people around them, even when God wants them not to behave like that. Now remember, I'm talking to you as young boys and girls who are Christians who love the Lord Jesus Christ. These Christians I call chameleon Christians. They blend in to be the same as other people, to be accepted, to fit in, not willing to make a stand for Jesus. So the question I want to ask you today, boys and girls, is are you a chameleon Christian? I want to read from Romans chapter 12, verse 1 onwards. It says here, Therefore, brothers and sisters, I urge you, in view of God's mercy, to offer your lives as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And in verse 2, listen to what it says. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So boys and girls, God wants us to renew our minds. When we become Christians and we love the Lord Jesus, He wants us to renew our minds and to be completely different from the way the world lives and the way others are living around us. So the question I want to ask you is, so how, how, how do we fit into the world, some of us? Or are we different? Well, let's look at a few examples. What about the TV shows we watch? Sometimes we watch those TV shows with our friends. Sometimes we watch terrible movies with our friends. Sometimes we watch some things on the internet which we shouldn't be watching. And we're fitting into the way the, way the world lives. Remember, Jesus doesn't want us to live that way. What about the way we talk? Sometimes we use ugly words. And ugly words come out of our mouths. Sometimes we talk to our friends in an ugly way. The way we treat others. Sometimes you're nasty. Sometimes there's jealousy. Sometimes we get angry and we are unkind to others. And yet we say we love Jesus. But when we're around certain groups of children or friends, we behave differently. We want to fit in with them. Just like that chameleon who wants to blend in with the surroundings. Then we see other students and children and friends around us who are doing things that God doesn't agree with. But we don't say anything to them because we want to fit in. We want to be like that chameleon. We want to be part of this, oh, I'm in the in crowd. So, no, so we don't tell them to stop because we are scared that maybe they may say something to us or criticize us. Or even we just join them because we want to be, be their friends. But children, that is being a chameleon Christian. Someone who doesn't want to be different, who doesn't want to stand out. Then what about our parents? Sometimes we struggle to listen to our parents and the instructions they give us and when they want us to behave well. Sometimes we don't listen to our teachers. Remember, as Christians, we love Jesus, and Jesus will want us in every situation to live in a way that reflects his love. 
So basically, children, the chameleon Christian is someone who doesn't fit in with what God wants, but does what others are doing and doesn't stand out. Now here's an interesting thing. God has called us to be a light to this world. God has called us to shine for him. So the question I want to ask you is what makes a Christian different? What makes a Christian shine for Jesus and to be different from the world around them? Now let's go back to the chameleon. Do you know when a chameleon wants to be noticed, it actually changes its color completely differently from the surroundings. So that's interesting. A chameleon normally camouflages itself, but when it wants to really be noticed, it becomes this bright color. And that's the sort of Christian I want to see. You become bright and bold so everyone can see who you love and what you are living for. So here's the question. So what makes a Christian different? Simple. We don't change colors to fit in to what the world is doing. We don't change colors so we can be like everyone else. We actually stand out and we bright and we're that light on the hill. Now, the thing that makes you into this Christian that is bright is firstly, have you given everything of your life to Jesus? Have you given your all to him? Now, some of you are saying, is, yeah, I have. I've given my life to Jesus. But you know what? It's not enough. Of course I want you to love Jesus. And of course I want you to give your life to Jesus. Maybe some of you have. I want you to, to love. But it goes much deeper than that. Jesus wants us to live every single day of our life as Christians. Every single day of our life, he wants us to live for him to shine for him, to be bright and exciting for others. Chameleons that blend in can't do that. Christians that blend in can't do that. I want to repeat, Romans 12, chapter 12 says, do not be conformed to this world. In other words, do not live in the way that others are living or behaving. God has called you to stand out to be excited for him and to show the love of Jesus and the brightness of Jesus. So here's the question. How can you be different? How can you live in a way that you don't have to keep changing colors to be like other people? Well, God has told us. Go look at Romans again. Romans chapter 12, verse 9 onwards. And, and I will, There are so many things I want to tell you today. How you can be different. How you can stand out. How you can let others know that you love Jesus and that you can walk in him as a, as a person who wants to witness for Jesus. Verse 9. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in wanting to do good things for other people. And keep your spiritual strength serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope. Be patient in difficult times. Be faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need of support and help. Practice kindness, hospitality and love. And then it goes on to say, bless those who persecute you. Bless those who are angry with you. Bless those who are fighting with you. And do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Feel sad with those who feel sad. Live in happiness with each other. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people who are not as famous as you, or as gifted as you, or who have as much as you to live for. And do not be proud again. So boys and girls, what Jesus wants to see is that you don't live like a chameleon. That you just fit into the crowd and go along with the crowd that is not doing the right thing. God wants you to be different. He wants you to be excited about him. He wants you to be living for others in his love. 
It says in Romans again, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you heap burning coals on his head. So some of you face difficulties at school with your friends. You might have arguments and the rest. Get out of those arguments. Don't do what the world does and they react with arguments. Change and love and care and bring peace to the situation. Make a difference. God wants us to be holy. God wants us to love. God wants us to bear the fruit of His Spirit. And we know in Galatians 5 verse 22, what is the fruit of the Spirit? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against all such things there is no law. So what God is telling you is don't fit into the world's way of living, which is lots of nonsense going on, lots of unhappy situations. People are fighting, people are arguing, people aren't being kind to each other. Lots of people are struggling with the love of Jesus in their lives. God has called us not to be chameleons. He's called us to stand out. Let's walk in the light of Jesus. Let us see goodness in people. Let us show mercy and choose to follow God. Go out and change lives for Jesus by the way you live as a bright, bright light on that hill. Walk in the light of Jesus. Walk in the light of God. And go and make disciples for God. Remember, you're not a chameleon. You're a loving child of Jesus. Make a difference. And let people be excited when they see Jesus in you. Let us pray. Father God, I pray for every young boy and girl out there today. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we will not have chameleon Christians. We will have Christians who are committed and convicted about their love for you, that they want to go make a difference and stand out when people are not behaving in the right way, when people are not living in the right way. Father, I pray that every boy and girl watching here today will make that decision to follow you with everything in their life, every day of their life. Jesus, bless them. Bless our teachers that we can walk for you as truly saved children of the light in Jesus. Amen. Bless you, boys and girls.